Hello, this is a tutorial on Microsoft Office Mix. Microsoft Office Mix is an add-in for Microsoft Office, specifically PowerPoint 2013 for Windows. Currently, there is not a version for the Mac. So this is part six of the tutorials provided for Microsoft Office Mix. If you have not watched at least tutorial one, you're going to want to do that as that's an overview of the entire Office Mix platform. So what we're going to do with this sixth tutorial is we're going to show you how to share your finished Office Mix. Remember, Office Mix not only is a multimedia and interactive uh, tool for PowerPoint that allows you to create some fantastic presentations, but it also has some cloud storage space so that when you get done creating a mix, you store it in your Office Mix account. And your Office Mix account can be created with uh, a Google login information. Your organization may have some separate organizational logins. Or uh, you have uh, your Microsoft Office account if you have like Office 365 or whatever, that will work. So again, we're in this presentation that's been completed. I'm going to go up to our ribbon here, and I'm going to click on Mix to bring down this ribbon tab. And most of the work that we've done has been over in this particular area here. We're now going to go to this area here called Upload to Mix. And this is going to upload my recording to the Office Mix website, and then I have the ability to identify how I want to share, what level of privacy I want to give with it. So I click on that spot, and now it's uploading to Mix. You'll see over here on the right-hand side, there is a three-step process. It will prepare the Mix, and eventually it will create it so that you get a link that you have the ability to share. So we're just going to come down here and hit Next. is actually preparing this presentation. And I need to sign in with my Office uh, Mix account so I can have a Microsoft account. I can sign in with an organizational account. I can sign in with Facebook or I can sign in with Google. This is a new mix or I can update an existing mix. I'm going to hit Next. And you can see up here we're doing some uploading and some publishing. Depending on the size of your presentation, this could take from a few minutes to maybe 10, 15 minutes. This is not a long presentation. It is only seven slides, so it should work relatively quickly. And then we'll have some choices. We'll have some choices that we can determine what level of privacy we're going to give it so that when we share it, uh, different sets of people will have access to it that we get determined. We also can give this a name. We can give it a description. And then uh, there will be a link that's created that would be what we would share. So as you can see, we're 100% uploaded, 100% published, and success. So we can show me my mix if I want to do that or we can close out. So it's now loading my mix, and I have my ability to sign in, which I'm not going to do at this particular point. I could pull it up and view it. So again, here is my presentation, and it's in that currently saved state. So we're now going to do Show Me My Mix again so that we can actually add all those other features to it and determine the level of uh, security that we want to have. So here we have Time Value of Money Test. This is just the name I have on the file. I can change that name to anything that I would like to change. Maybe I call this Finished now. I can give it a description if I would like to do that. If you have a number of things that you're putting together, maybe you have different presentations for a course, 
you may actually want to have that described because you might have a PowerPoint office mix piece that you put together for each week of your class. And so you want to differentiate it, make sure you have the one for week one versus week two and so forth. Again, using the title and the description. The title you have to have, and you have to have the category down here. And the reason is you have this little asterisk here. That means you must fill in the box before it allows you to move on. Anything that doesn't have an asterisk next to it is an optional field. So categories, I can pick the type of category that it is. Put other if your category doesn't pop in. Uh, I can give it a tag. That means if you had it available from a perspective of sharing it publicly, people could actually use tags or keywords in order to search and locate your presentation. But that is only if, if you're going to share it publicly. So permissions and sharing. Currently, right now, we're at limited. We have this little dot here, and we can click and drag it, move it wherever we want. All the way to the left is private. Limited is the default area. Anyone with a link must sign in to view it. And we can drag it over here to unlist it. And then there is all the way over to the public. I generally put my stuff out from a class perspective to the unlisted. But that's a call that you need to make yourself. You can read a little bit more down here about what each of the privacy permission settings are. And then over here to the side, this, this is the link. So if you needed to share this with your class, whether you wanted to post it into your Blackboard shell or whether you wanted to send it to somebody in an email or put these links on a document somewhere, if you wanted to hand it to your class at the beginning, you could put this on a maybe a digital Word document and then all they have to do is click on that link and they would have access to this particular Office Mix presentation. So that's it. That's how simple it is to share an Office Mix. And again, this is part six of the Microsoft Office Mix tutorials. Thank you.